Uh, man, this this is for you guys. It's gonna be good. Let's strap in, people. You're in for an experience. Sabers. <laughs> Light years from Earth's solar system, the people of the galaxy Eonon have been struggling to maintain the precious balance of life. The sun of Eonon is slowly dying, the planets grow cold, food is no longer plentiful, life will soon become impossible to sustain. The scientific community of Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Eonon's lifeless planets into a new sun. The effort was centered around the development of a device called the Star Generator. The Star Generator would be capable of igniting an otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. An expedition set out aboard the starship Arcada to successfully complete development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcada is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with a fully operational Star Generator. You serve as a member of the crew of the Arcada as a janitor. That's right, a janitor. And not a very good one. You probably would have been sacked and replaced were the Arcada not millions of kilometers from Xenon. As we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous on-shift naps in one of the janitorial storage closets. I think I might have to click, but I'm afraid that if I do, we miss out on story. Welcome aboard, Akata. <clears throat> to log on as crew member, please enter your name below. Up to 18 characters. Wow. Pants. You are startled by the sound of an alarm. <clears throat> it is followed by an urgent voice which warns that the Akata has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. I think you can mouse now with this instead of having to <coughs> full keyboard it but it's only for clicks and oh, doors I think you can you have just stumbled into a small dark and very cluttered utility closet many things fall most of them landing on you doesn't say much for your cleaning prowess We get a save file going. Whoa, the scum VM. Um, beginning. Oh, you have to type stuff to it's a text parser. He looks just like me. No beard though. Do, 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 Minus the beard, hair color, glasses. <laughs> oh no, what happened? My friends are dead. Okay. Look. 
You'll have to be more specific. Look around. You're in one of the Arcada's <clears throat> hallways near an elevator. Hey, Lev, how you doing? Ah, oh, yeah, we had these as kids. They're great, aren't they? Absolutely wonderful. All right, what do we want to do then? Look at floor. There is nothing there that you can't already see. Yeah, King's Quest was great. Have you played the the, the remakes? There's um, I'm pretty sure three, one, two, and three have been remade to play for free, and they look pretty good. Look at body. It appears to be one of your crewmates. He is non-functional. Search body. You search the body of your crewmate and find a keycard. All right, we go take take keycard. You take the keycard. All right, we got a point. Chat, we got a point. All right, very important. Save. Now, do we want to go down or um, or go back the way we came? It's very important, chat. What do we want to do? <clears throat> Kick the body. Search the other bodies. All right. That could be valuable. Search body. Your search of the body reveals nothing. Search body. Your search of the body reveals nothing. Uh oh. These guys look dead. Look around. This is the Star Generated Development Laboratory. Due to your incredibly low security clearance, you have never been allowed access to this room. The reward for your search is nothing. Search body. We also get nothing here. Uh, look at bench. I don't understand bench. Look. Look at computer. Computer. I don't know simp pewter. My bad. Look at computer. That does not seem to be in your sight now. Okay, I'm not going to give up on that. Hey, Bonfire, how you doing, man? Do, 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 Panel? Okay, let's try panel. Do, 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 Your mind is boggled. Nice one, man. Uh, in attempting to understand the function of the various buttons, switches, lights, and displays, it appears the board is not operating. Fighting with a stupid Python script. There's no such thing as a stupid Python script. Only a stupid Python script writer. So go find him, punch him in the face, and then work on his script. I wonder where that one goes. We started up in that janitor's... We, no, we started upstairs there. What if the script is named a stupid Python script? Okay, we can't go this way. Alright, we can go all the way to the left here. I believe there is a speed up option for when you want to run. The alien, we heard footsteps, the alien observes his handiwork briefly then leaves. 
as you lie on the floor in smoldering carbogelatinous heap. You can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. Thank you for playing, Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. If you continue playing as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. Better luck next time. So that ends the um, Space Quest portion of this last month's T.O. No, wait, we'll... Uh... Restore. <laughs> okay, so we picked up the key card. We searched those bodies. We know if we we can go left if we go down here. So let's do that. I'm trying to work out what the is there a actual? Okay, so we are on fastest. No, I think that's just sort of, um, if I click fastest, there we go. I like how the lights flash as well. It literally just cycles the um, animation. For you think you hear footsteps. You have just stumbled into a small, dark, and very cluttered utility closet. Many of the things what we we read this one, but it might save us from death, right? I wish there was a um Oh, I think we're walking around. Okay, the spaceship is round, and these platforms are circles. Right? So you can keep looping loop. Keep looping. Why does everything fall on us all the time? The door opens, and a man you recognize as one of the lab scientists enters. He appears to be injured. Okay, hang on. After only a few f steps, he slumps onto the floor. Okay. Search man. Have some respect for the dying. Oh, uh, talk to man. In his current condition, the man is not much of a conversationalist. Look at man. A large laser hole has been burned in his uniform through which you can see previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he raises up on one elbow. Can I talk to you? He tells you the Arcade is under attack and that the star generator is in danger. You had better leave if you value your life. He looks over towards the shelves full of cartridges and utters the words astral body. He then settles to the floor, lifeless. I can search for man now. You search the man's damaged body pockets, nets, only some heat fused chunks of varying sizes which were probably melted by a pulse ray blast. Nothing to waste time on. Okay. He looked at the computer. Uh, look at computer. I don't understand lock. <sighs> look at, look art, look at computer. The console consists of a screen, a keyboard, and a cartridge slot. Atop it rests a model DX cartridge retrieval unit. Use computer. Use simp computer. Computer. It is currently not one of your options. Use keyboard. <clears throat> How would you like to do that? Type astral body. 
body. That does not compute. Um, okay, look at monitor. Okay, welcome to the Arcada Data Archive Model DX Storage and Retrieval System. To select a cartridge, enter the title below. Press enter to quit. Title catalog available with top security clearance only. Alien girls gone wild. Huh. Um, astral body. Take the cartridge. Done. Save game. Oh, there's auto saves. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to name these better <clears throat> in case we get stuck. Spaceship, let's go eight. And that's going to be the score. Location and score, I think. So the only other room that's different is the computery room. We did look at the panel on the other side. Look, panel. <clears throat> yeah, same description, we don't know what to do. I wonder if there's a area over here. No. Oh, there was another one. I don't think it was here. This one. Unable to see anyone here, the alien leaves to search elsewhere. Uh, okay, good. All right, save. I wonder if that's based on a time. Or a number of screens you go across. Search body. You search the laser riddled corpse reveals nothing. Okay. We're still going to search every body though, right? Oh, you search the damaged body of your fellow crewman. You get too close a glimpse of the injury. In the pockets you find nothing. Oh, dang it. Okay, look around. You're in the central control area of the Akata. The reactor domes pulsate irregularly as if they had been tampered with. This does not look good. Through the window just above the control console, you can see down into the vehicle bay below. Okay, so can we... Can we get into here? What is this? Is this some sort of... Do you think you hear footsteps? Uh-oh. Quickly. Can we hide behind here? Is he coming? Like, I don't know if we have to wait. Do we have to walk a certain distance? Yeah. 
get nothing. <clears throat> look around. This mid-level deck. Okay, look at panel. The key card unit is a small sturdy box with a slot. Just above it displays a light, which is not currently on. Wait, wait. Box with a slot. We've got a key card. It's not powered. Use key card, though. You slide the key card into its slot. You hear an audible click. You take the key card back. Does that mean this works now? Bay doors are closed. Hey, Hedwin, how you doing, man? Um, look around. This is the flight prep room of the Akata. As you can see, there is a sign on the back wall, as well as two closet doors and two buttons. Oh, I'm gonna look at look at panel. The console 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 is another word we can use. Is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right door is marked airlock. Open airlock. That doesn't seem to be the correct action in this case. Push button. You have to be more specific about which button you want. Push airlock button. Okay. Now we do have things here though as well. This was these were mentioned. Push button. Push left button. Oh, okay. Look in closet. Looks to be some sort of gadget. Take gadget. Push right button. Look in closet. You see a flight suit hanging in the closet. Take suit. Hey, look, we're wearing it. We got points. Okay. No, wait, wait. New. <laughs> Spaceship 14. Now, we're not going for 100% on the points. We're just using that as a guide to progression. <clears throat> we're doing both of them, Chromo. We, want to, we don't want to ruin people's experience of two because they didn't know the story. Come on, man. Look around. When I was testing to see if Space Quest, like to make sure they're all working, I went down one of the screens in Space Quest 3 and I, I, I saw, like I remembered it a lot because I played Space Quest 3 the most out of all of these as a kid. Because um, it was by far the hardest. Uh, and I, I saw the this, this sheet of metal that I, I picked up like on a regular basis. <laughs> so I walked out, I'm like, take sheet. And it's like, pfft, pfft, pfft. it seems that the sheet was sharper than you. You're a variable to fountain for a while. <laughs> you know, like. Oh, it was good times. Uh, this is the cavernous vehicle bay. All right, what are we doing? Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm -mm. Gosh, Pans. It would appear you have met an untimely demise with the explosive destruction of the Akata. You become part of a fresh collection of space debris. Thank you for playing, Space Quest. Too bad you failed again. Better luck next time. Apparently there is a time limit to get off the spaceship. A real-time time limit. Or a trigger at some point. Okay. Look at console. I don't understand. Look at console. Looking at the console, you see a button marked platform. There are also some gauges which I don't issue. Press button. 
For safety reasons, the platform will not function with the door bays closed. Closed doors. Wait, open doors, open doors. Bay doors is not open for this room. The airlock doors open automatically. Really, they open automatically? I have a feeling that the time is based off... Um, when you come into this room. Um, all right, let's... What's the policy on helping? Make sure I don't do something that inevitably means we can't win. Well, Pans, that was a smooth half gainer into the elevator shaft. Did you decide that you would think more clearly with your brains reorganized? That's the problem with some of these early games is that there's just straight up lose conditions where you don't pick up an item um, before you leave and you can't go back and you need that to win the game. LucasArts revised these learning from Sierra's mistakes of putting them in games because they're really frustrating. <clears throat> Alright, look at buttons. Press platform button. For safety reasons, the platform will not function with the bay doors closed. Okay, let's go back here, if we have time. Bay doors are closed, okay. Open bay doors. Okay, look at... Restore. Look at console. Okay. The console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. Okay, that's the only thing um, we opened. Hmm. Look at panel. I'm on the right is my airlock. What about this one? Okay, push airlock button. That doesn't help at all. Okay, open bay doors. All right, unless there's something in the other room that'll do it. But I feel like I doubt it. We have very little time. I don't know how much time we can buy doing other things. It's 
set to normal speed. <clears throat> that will help. Well, they st he still walks. He walks slower if you set it to normal speed. So it's still relative. Oh, it'll help with the typing, though. Yeah, that that's a good point. You can even set it to slow. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. It's really annoying though, because it's normal is really slow. Um. All right. Shortcut for store is F7. The, one of the problems with it is though, if I find if I um, get into the habit of using F5 and F7, I save after I'm dead. Although I don't think you, I don't know if you can in this one if they safeguard it. There's a button marked platform. There are also some gauges which don't interest you. So yeah, if I press the button, it goes, you can't do it with the doors open. For safety reasons, the platform will not function with the bay doors closed. We need to open the bay doors, but we d don't do it from here. And the room's gonna, bay doors open from a previous room. Kaboom, okay. I'm gonna go back to this one, we have more time. Anytime we have to backtrack, I think is um, gonna be bad. Okay. So that's looking at the bay doors there. All right, so maybe there's buttons. Look at panel. The console marked the window are two buttons marked open bay door and close bay door. Push open bay door button. How would you look at that? You think you hear footsteps. <clears throat> oh. Well, that's a nice bit of RNG for you. Um, restore game. I shouldn't be using the... Okay, right, well. All right, so... Just going to press open button. Press open door button. Look at panel. Press open bay door button. So it's like, you don't know that that button says that yet. You need to look at this. Use key card. Okay. Press left button. Press right button. Hey, gadget. Get suit. Open airlock. Come on. Look at panel. 
push airlock button. Yeah, save. Good call. <clears throat> New um, <laughs> spaceship 16. Maybe better. Press button. There's now an escape pod. Okay. Get in escape pod. So there's a door on the left of it. Get in. Get in pod. Um... Look at panel. Console consists of a screen, pod status indicators, a throttle, and some buttons. The buttons are marked auto nav, power, and don't touch. <laughs> Remember to click. Come on, Crobo, no spoilers. I'm going to deliberately press it. Press don't touch button. That has no effect now. Press power button. Look at console again. Press auto nav one word button. Pull throttle. Pull. Throttle. Please buckle your seatbelt first. Buckle seatbelt. Pull throttle. Your door is ajar. Oh, it doesn't even do anything. Close door. Done. Pull throttle. I don't understand trottle. Pull throttle. Alright. Press. The escape pod moves slowly out the vehicle bay and into space. Congratulations, you have narrowly escaped an explosive death. Don't start patting yourself on the back just yet, though. You are now traveling aimlessly through the cosmos. Okay. Press. Wait. Save. You save. In space. 34. Press don't touch button. It said don't touch. I warned you. Ken, did you hear something? It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, birder. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. Yeah, that's the King's Quest castle. Thank you for playing Space Quest. I mean, the button says don't touch. Um, <clears throat> push auto nav button. You've already done that. Oh. Um, push it again. <clears throat> oh, the monitor flashes. You study it to see what new information is being displayed. Where's my blip blip blop blop sounds? Planet Corona. Um, 
Um, Planet Corona? Do we... <laughs> There's some awful foreshadowing there. <laughs> the autonav system is locked onto the small planet of Corona. Uh, the pod is <laughs> being on its approach. Nothing to do but hang on. Yeah, the atmosphere is breathable. It's just the um, things that are coming out of other... Um... Yeah, where's the sounds too? It says sound on. After that, after a skull-jarring landing, you peer through the shattered viewing port out onto the desert landscape. A feeling of utter desolation settles in. You're in a fine mess now, Pans. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Look out window. Through the window, you see a vast wasteland composed of sand. Look at pod. You're inside the escape pod. It appears that there are more fragile devices were damaged severely by the land impact landing. Survival kit has broken loose from someplace. Take kit. Right. Uh, open door. The door has been permanently opened by the impact of landing. Get out. Oh, good debt. Get out. You are unable to leave with your seatbelt on. Take off the seatbelt. Done. Get out. Um, what's the, what's the, um, get screwed thing on this planet, Chromo? I know there is one. There's something you have, you have to do here. And if you don't do it, you leave, you can't win game. It's the shard of glass. All right. So make sure I don't leave. Or if I do go to do something that'll irre irreversibly save me. Uh, like irreversibly damn it, hurt, harm me, you need to save me. Um, Corona 36. Okay. Look at ship. Um. <clears throat> okay, we can take it from the um, the window, is it? Look at window. Window is shattered by the impact of the landing. Okay, let's go take window. Take window. Can't obtain that here. Okay, is it here? Look at window. Okay. Take window. Take glass. Glass is now in possession. How are you supposed to know that? Um, look around. I did. Oh, I wonder if it said look around on there. If I'd done look around. Uh, I don't think it does. Try over here. Yeah, look around is the first thing. Maybe it would have said it. Look around. Wonder if I can. Um, I wonder if there's a way I can save look around to like some. <laughs> Probably not. Is this the one where I have to go left a bunch? You're at the southwest edge of a mesa. It is very desolate here. 
that on it might be on two or three on one of the planets you have to um you have to go left like yeah uh, like you have to go left like three or four screens into the desert to get something look uh, around so you're gonna tell me about the mesa look at mesa Look at rock. Whoop. Suddenly you see a large black metal sphere falling out of the sky. A Sarian spider droid. Upon touching down on the planet's surface, it sprouts legs and begins its search for you. You recall from an article in Space Piston magazine that this droid is designed to seek out organic life forms and self-destruct when contact is made. You have just been blown into bite-sized chunks by a Sarian spider droid. Thank you for playing Space Quest. M -m -m my Corona. My, my, my. See object is... I haven't got the glass yet. Okay, let's see what it says. Look around. You seem to be located in an incredibly remote area. There are th a thrashed escape pod here. Alright, so we can go look at pod. The pod seems to be semi-destroyed. Yeah, there's no... Like, I think you have to get lucky with the glass. Look at... Glass. It's quite sandy down there. You see that a piece of highly reflective glass is broken out of the pod window. Like, you know what I mean? Like... you. I'm pretty sure that one held up almost everyone. Like, that was the... Um, the you don't... Um, you don't pass this mark. So, like, you don't beat this game because you didn't have that. We have, oh, I was hoping we, hang on, maybe if we, if I numlock. Oh, we've got diagonal movement. I can use the keypad. Okay, so if we're quick, we avoid the thing splashing down. I have a feeling it's going to be desert off to the right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Moogle. Yeah, I could write a script to type it. And it would probably actually be quicker than, ty than the amount of time it's going to cost me typing it every, every time. I wonder if up here is desert as well. If, I th I'm pretty sure we have to go up that ramp, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, okay, hang on. No, that's going to be rubbish. Uh oh, there's the droid bot. Alright, so it's down there. Maybe we're okay with it being down there. As long as it doesn't appear on the ramp below us and follow us, I'm okay with where it is. For now. Can we fall off the edge? Yep. <laughs> Apparently you can. So we have to be careful about the edges. Oh man. Okay, so we need to... I'm pretty sure there's a hole in the ground. I'm trying to think memories. Can we... Is it behind that rock up there? Take rock. 
Uh, push rock? Okay. One of the rocks, I'm pretty sure you lift it up, you look in there, and there's like a, a look into one of the other space quests. Or maybe it's in one of the other games, you look at the rock and it looks at a space quest. Sierra did a bunch of that. Um, it's in Space Quest 4, is it? Which has time travel into Space Quest 1 and 2. Oh, maybe. No, I'm not thinking of that. I think it's a like an Easter egg one. Okay. You save. Corona 39 bridge. Right? Look around. You're in a unique area. There is a natural land bridge here as well as life in the form of plants. Oh, do I need to take the plants? The bridge is only crossable so many times. That sounds about right. The bridge is only crossable so many times. Suddenly we see the robot droid. Oh, did it crack when we walked over it? Because <laughs> I thought it was cracked beforehand, so it must have just cracked a little more. That's Sierra for you, right? Part of me wants to do... When we do King's Quest... Um, What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. I, I kind of want to do it in the old 8-bit graphics, but I kind of want to do the remake version as well. I wonder how many saves I can have before it... Um... Yeah, I mean, the remake's probably good. I want to see the remake since I played the originals. But they haven't remade 4 yet. Oh, wait. Look around. This is the end of what appears to be a large cavern. The only way to go is to the left. There is a rock nearby. Take rock. You need to be closer. Okay, I'm assuming I'm pointing on my... I'm pointing at it. I'm assuming this is the rock. I need a camera behind me for when I like to. I like to point at the screen a fair bit on certain games. I think having a camera here so I can be like blah 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 and chat and see what I'm pointing at. Gee, I wonder what I do with the rock that I just picked up. Look around. There's another underground chamber in the underground complex. <clears throat> there is a path in the back wall which is not accessible from the bottom. What just happened? You've been snatched from existence by a tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Thank you for playing Space Quest. <laughs> okay. Take rock. Take rock. Hey, Moogle, yeah, we got tentacled big time.
No, I, okay. <clears throat> I think we got this one there. Yeah, I think I know. I think I know it. I just thought maybe we could do it anywhere. But it looks like... Yeah, okay. I, I, I got the, um, the device at the locker at the start. I, I knew that was one of them. Look around. Look at... Ah, uh, the, um... The cartridge? Yeah. It's calling it a geezer. There's a geezer. Geyser. Geyser. Grozer. Who cares -er? Cone here is rhythmically spewing hot steam. Put rock on geezer. <clears throat> no, I like I like to think of it as a geezer. After it's done spitting steam, it's going to go play chess with another geezer and tell kids to get off his lawn. Maybe go down for some early bird specials, yeah, then take a nap, and then wake up and watch Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, fall asleep to some people's court, uh, with Wapner, you know, none of this new age fandangled stuff with that young Judge Judy. <clears throat> um... Don't be sorry for lurking, Yadako, I like having people here just hanging out. Okay, what's going on here? As is tradition, we look around. This is a slightly smaller chamber in the underground complex. <clears throat> there is a path above which is not accessible from here. There is a pool on the right-hand side. You guys want to go swimming? I'm pretty sure this is not good. <clears throat> get in pool. That's not the way to get there. It's not going to let me... Okay. Drink from... Pool. You lean over to drink from the tempting pool of liquid. As your lips touch the fluid, you feel a pain which could be likened to kissing a lit rocket nozzle. Now you know what they mean when they say, Don't drink the water. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I think I'm still moving to the right. I don't know. You think it's up and to the left? Okay, hang on. Yep. <clears throat> I'm just going straight left now. There we go. Oh, this is the glass, isn't it? Look. Oh, I've got caps. Around. You're in a large room in the cavern. There is a pathway above. At the south end of the, of the room are two odd-looking units emitting beams of light. Use glass with beams. I don't understand your question. Did I type it wrong? Use glass with light. Use glass. You have quite cleverly turned the beam upon itself, frying it into inoperability. We didn't walk into the beams. That's just that's just not cricket, like. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I, what a terrible host I am. I fixed it, Moogle. I fixed it. <clears throat> Get off my back. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Nothing. <laughs> you are now lying on the floor in many pieces. Guess those beams meant business, Pans. <laughs> the delayed. You just keep walking. <laughs> Thank you for playing Space Quest. When you go through, you see some pixels missing, really? Oh, yep, yep. You can see right through them. Oh, no, 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 don't go there. Use glass. You have quite cleverly turned the beam upon... Yep. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> you know the two guys from Andromeda were just sitting around going, oh, let's make it when you walk through it. It cuts off his, like, bit of his head and his body and his legs. Whenever you see... You're unpleasantly surprised by a drop of searing acid which bores its way to your feet. Thank you for playing Space Quest. I might have um I might have accidentally made that without the death that you you guys deserved. I may have felt bad <clears throat> for a moment. As soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak. A strange unknown force has taken over. A massive holographic image appears before you. You sense that you are the only life form in the area. <clears throat> Oh, that's right, it's a translator. The job job le vous 
Hey Crit, how you doing man? Been hosting the Feliz Video for the Nation of Cabin Workings. Meet me, Spiller, and the Red Dipper, 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 and the Red because of your inability to understand the alien's language, he has sent you back to the surface. Just had pizza? Doing accordingly. <clears throat> nice. I'd Swedish chef. Yeah, good one, Valkyrie. Um, I haven't watched the announcement for Path of Exile, but apparently it's really good. Oh man, i got to cross the thing again. You roll your face on the keyboard, yeah. We'll put some spaces in here. Alright, turn on gadget. <clears throat> you turn the dial to the right, the light begins to glow. Wait, look at gadget. Just in case, written on the electronic gadget are the words dialect translator. On one end is a dial and a light currently on. If we'd looked at the gadget when we picked it up, apart from the fact we knew that the spaceship was blowing up any second now, um, Corona 53. <clears throat> oh, that sounds good. Plus, I need you in the new league to tell me how to play. As soon as you went to the room, we saw this bit. Except now we get to understand it, I think. A massive... Oh, wait, we read that one as well. Is he going to speak? Sir, you have found your way to my hallowed chamber. I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are up the proverbial estuary without a means of locomotion. You are obviously in need of transportation. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. On the surface lives a beast called Orat. He proves to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. Good luck, strange one. Okay. Corona beat Orat. Okay, so we can only go across the bridge enough times. I'm assuming you have to do that. You don't have to kill Orat accidentally before you go across the bridge the first time, do you? Okay, is this a rock here? Push rock. It lands with a pleasing thud. Did I not want to do that though? Do I use the spider to kill Orat? Did I want to use the rock to kill the spider? We have more cracks. Oh, 
Um, did I need that rock up the top? It's a way to kill a spider, but I don't need it. Okay. <clears throat> I, I was, I, I was, my first thoughts is the spider is going to kill the Aurat. Aurat is to the right. Oh, okay, thanks, dude. Pretty sure you can buy time because it he he doesn't spawn for a few seconds after you come in, so you can just sort of be like. Oh. We got spider droned. Calm down, Chromo. Oh, I'm all the way up here. Promo. You don't want to get banned for Space Quest 2. I'm pretty sure if you get banned, you can't even watch. Where's this spider? <laughs> the graphical limitations of the 80s. Oh, I see it now. Because this stupid spider, I have to do a loop de loop around it. Come here, spoda. Oh, this really is a spoda. It's an exploder spoda. Okay, I got lucky. The cave interior now features a lovely new jagged metal liberated entrails motif. The stench, phew, not even an all text adventure would attempt that description. <coughs> Look around. You're in the slimiest of caves. The odor in here is less than desirable. Uh, I think I got lucky there. Look at ground. On the ground rests a gleaming chunk of Aurat's anatomy. Take chunk. You reach down and take the Aurat part in your hand. Some of it oozes to fill the space between your fingers. Um, Corona, or at dead. Oh, look, it was, it was Roger Wilco, you know, I couldn't have done it without him. Orat is pleased. Orat is dead, <laughs> Mr. TNT. The other way to kill Orat is to throw water at him. Where do I get the water from? 
puzzle agent man. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> Open survival kit. This is your survival kit. It contains a Xenon army knife and a can of dehydrated water. I know that dehydrated water is a thing you can buy um, for 20 bucks. Do you do you use it to scoop acid out of the um out of the pool? It's a gag gift you can get to someone. And and it does say just add water to to reconstitute the water. And I watched a video of someone getting it and they they were just clueless. They're like, "But if I add water, I'd just have water in there." And they'd be like, "Yeah, and the dehydrated water would be water now." They'd be like, "No, but it would be the tap water." Well, the pool of acid kills you if you drink it, but we're not trying to drink it ourselves. We're trying to um, give it to Orat or something. Some people operate with a two head, yeah. Apparently it makes a good present for like um, secret Santas. I, I personally don't agree with that. I think it makes a crap present and I wouldn't want it. <laughs> Oh, I saw it on one of the recent Dude Perfect videos. Ah, oh, save and walk over the bridge. Okay. Diet bridge. <clears throat> Death Simulator 2020. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The heat is causing you to develop quite a thirst. A drink of water would be certainly most pleasant. Hang on, we're going to die of thirst as well, and then we'll drink the survival water later. Diet bridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're looking after our weight. We don't want full fat bridge. <laughs> You've traveled a long way only to die by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod. Do, 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 Thank you for playing Space Quest. Man, I need to I need to make that a thing. Kind of like this. Where I push the button and it just goes do 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 The heat is causing you to develop quite a third. If I don't drink, am I gonna die of dehydration? Is it even worth watching the dehydration one? Or should I just drink the diet water? Or the dehydrated water? Drink water. You place your lips to the nozzle and draw. A fluid, not a very reasonable facsimile of water, is released slowly. While tasting slightly terrible, it quenches your thirst, at least for the time being. What? Oh, we didn't die to Orat either. I'm not going back to die at Orat. I kind of want to though. This is a timed section. Okay, hang on. Thank you. Corona timed section. All right, if we're here, we may as well have a look at the options. Ah, <clears throat> uh, he's too far away. Nuts to that. Um. You hate how water only temporarily quenches one's first. I mean, it's it's no um, what's it called? It's got what plants crave. Bro, 
Rondo, the Thirst Mutilator. <laughs> With electrolytes. It's got what plants crave. I'm pretty sure that's salt. And salt kills plants. But it's got what plants crave. Hey, we were hoping that if you were done with the hooker, we could... Wait. <clears throat> That's for a, a different channel. You know, like a group thing. <laughs> Six bits or two silver? <laughs> My, 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 my corona. You for one believe in President Comancho? Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't, right? <clears throat> President Comancho, office linebacker? to save over that one. I think we're good, right? Again, the massive holographic image appears before you. So, you have returned. Fortunately, there is much more to you than meets the eye. Drop before me. Your proof of Orat's defeat for my inspection. Drop. Chunk. You drop the Orat part to the ground. The vision is silent. You are startled by a rumbling and suddenly an oddly shaped door comes into view. It opens slowly. If he's been watching us for this whole time and understands what's going on, how come he didn't just see us kill the Orat thing? You hear a voice different this time beckoning you to step forward. Step forward! Please don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are peaceful race. We are cautious, however, others don't share our way of life. Welcome to Corona. Please stay at least uh, six feet away for distancing reasons. Is that a vacuum? It is a skimmer. It hovers approximately half a meter above the traveling surface. This is very important because of Grell. Grell and his like dwell in caves below the sand. If you stand on the surface too long, you'll chance becoming a rare moist meal for him. The skimmer is programmed to take you to a settlement on the other side of Corona called Ulant Flats. You can make further travel arrangements there. Oh no, it's a 1.5 meter. Um, <clears throat> you know, is what I'd be aware of. Two meters is too far. There's no way that you can um, get someone from two meters. Like, that's silly. I'm sorry, this is all we can offer. I hope your trip is a safe one. Board the skimmer when you are ready to depart. Good luck, strange one. Do I have to do anything in here or can I just get on the skimmer? Now let's um, look around first. This place is the most interesting indeed. A mixture of both old and new technologies. On one side of the chamber is a primitive steam generator. Its pistons pounding rhythmically turn steam into useful energy. On the other... Why did we put the rock on the steam generator? Uh, on the geyser. Like, I just did it because it looked obvious. But I can't remember why. Um, and this reminds me of doing that. Oh, it opened a door. Okay, cool. Um... It's pistons pounding to turn steam into useful energy on the other side of what appears to be a computer console. Well, I think we use the console then, right? Use console. That is not currently one of your options. Look at console. 
The console consists of a monitor and a, conveniently a cartridge slot. There are also some readouts which indicate the status of some of the mechanisms in here. Um, put cartridge in slot. The cartridge snaps neatly into the slot and the screen comes alive. Whosoever shall read this, my name is Dr. Slash Vohall. I am a scientist with the Star Generator Project aboard Starlab Arcata. Dr. Slash Vohall. Mmm. We have just successfully completed development and the testing of the Star Generator. During this time, I have come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others. I fear that out of the I fear that the Sarians may have learned of our mission. My fears prove true. The Star Generator and the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. The Star Generator is a miraculous device. Used as intended, it will help preserve life for eons to come. Used as a device for evil, it would cause the destruction of millions of lives and enslave all who oppose the Sarians. Encoded within this cartridge are all the plans and special and specifications for the construction of the Star Generator. Should any disaster befall the Star Generator project, scientists would be able to create a duplicate of the Star Generator with this information. Please guard this with your life. Return it to Xenon ruling body as quickly as possible. Important note, the Star Generator is capable of self-destruction. This was introduced to the system as a precaution. To activate it, one must enter the code. Six, eight, five, eight. Don't touch code. Okay. <clears throat> five minute timer will begin to count down. Beware anyone within five kilometers of the star generator will be in danger will be in danger once the timer has been initiated. Please be careful and good luck. Take cartridge. You wisely retrieve the cartridge from its slot. Um, is that all we have to do? If you forget to take it, you lose? Really? Wow. It's a bad ending too, where they sort of mock you for being awful, hey? Hey. 